we're gonna talk about why you should never hold your feelings back. Well, hello, you handsome thing. I am so thrilled that you are here and I commend your courage to even watch this video. So kudos to you. I hope that you already feel good about yourself by pressing play on this video. Now, if you are new here, my name is Erica Angelo. I'm the CEO and founder of the Erica Angelo Intimacy Experience. So on this channel, we talk about attraction, sex, love, dating relationships, but all of that encompasses what? Intimacy and a very important key element of intimacy revolves around your feelings. I realize that a lot of men are disempowered when it comes to their feelings, that this is a whole new thing. Back in the days, it was like, what are you talking about, boy? Us men don't talk about our feelings around here. You may still even have that dynamic in your family. Chances are the generation that you've come from has instilled that sort of thought process in. But we're gonna call bullshit on that and we're gonna talk about why it's so important that you never hold back your feelings. If you're new to my channel, baby, subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Now, one of the beautiful things that I love about men, along with wind blowing my hair around so beautifully, is I love that men ask why. Why? Why, Erica? Why should I never hold back my feelings? You're probably asking that right now. Here's the thing, we get so myopic on today, the present, that we don't realize that how we're showing up in the today, in the present, that it is gonna come with ramifications if we choose to do things like hold our feelings back. What do I even mean by that? What I mean is this, my love, is that when you are not comfortable with expressing your feelings, when you hold your feelings back, guess what? When you get in a relationship, because you will if you're on this channel, and when you get married, if that's what you so choose to do, and when you have children, that if you do not learn to cultivate the ability to share your feelings, to be in touch with your feelings, to communicate your feelings and not hold them back, if you do not understand how to do this, you will sabotage that relationship. You will sabotage that marriage. You will sabotage your relationship with your children. I can't tell you how many friends I know who are in marriages, who are in long-term relationships, who are thinking of divorce, thinking of ending their relationship, they're in counseling, they're frustrated with their partner. Why? Because their man doesn't know how to communicate their feelings. So we're going to eradicate that for you. We're going to empower you. I'm going to teach you why it's so important, how you can start doing this so that you can prepare for your future. Does that sound good to you? Are you a man that you think ahead and you think about your future? Well, then let's go on. First thing I want to say is this, you got to realize that your feelings are a priority. Listen, feelings have been demonized. We've been taught like why the mind is so powerful, why the brain is so powerful, and that our feelings are just these overreactive things that just transpire when life doesn't go our way. That's absolute bullshit. Our feelings are indicators. They're emotions that tell us, hey, something is going on inside. I am feeling something. I'm reacting to something. Something is not right, and I need it to be corrected. I need peace. If you've ever heard the expression about people getting disease in their body, it's because the body is at dis ease. When you're not paying attention to your emotions, your body gets diseased. You know what I'm talking about. Anxiety starts coming. Your chest starts tightening. Your stomach feels queasy. You get nauseous. You get headaches. You start getting muscle aches. Those are your feelings. Those are your emotions saying, hey, get me the fuck out of here. I am trapped inside. I need to get out. So understand that your feelings need priority in your life. You must prioritize them. You can't throw them off. You can't just go along with what society has taught you. But no, you, my love, must be accountable for yourself. And here on out, from today forward, that you start paying attention to your feelings and realizing, hey, I may not understand everything, but I do realize that first and foremost, I must start prioritizing my feelings. What does that look like? When you get pissed off at work and something's not going right, that when you come home, you don't go, fine, fuck it, I don't care, my boss is a dick, huh, I'm gonna drink a beer and go out with the boys, go watch Netflix, whatever, doesn't matter, no. 
don't do that. Instead, get real, get honest. Yeah, you may need to still go have drinks with the guys, but be honest with yourself and say, I'm really pissed off about this situation. I feel really angry. I feel very hurt. I feel betrayed by my boss. I feel overlooked in this situation. I feel like this situation is unjust but make some space, make some room for your feelings to have a voice that you will not just think them, but that you'll say them, that you'll say them to yourself out loud, or you'll even say them to your friends, those that you're close to, that you articulate them, that you make them a priority by speaking about them and not running away from them. Here's the next thing. When I encourage you never to hold your feelings back, I wanna make sure that I also convey to you the importance of communicating with boundaries. Dr. Brene Brown says that vulnerability without boundaries is not vulnerability. So when you're communicating those feelings, make sure that when you share that, that the people who you are sharing them with, that they have the right, they've earned the right to hear those feelings. Maybe you're meeting a new girl and you want to tell her, hey, I like you and you're holding yourself back. Then go ahead and communicate that to her. But your level of how much you share with her is also going to be based on how she's showing up on the dates. If she's showing up as a bitch or she's being catty or she is showing no interest in you whatsoever, then I would say to you, be careful with how you share your feelings with her. Maybe hold it with a grain of salt. But if she showed some interest, if she's been sincere, if she's a kind hearted woman, communicate with boundaries observe how the person that you're going to share your feelings with how they are showing up in your life and do you want to be that vulnerable with that person have they earned that place in your life where you would share and give them access to something so treasured like your feelings something so prized like your feelings also when i say never hold your feelings back one thing that people don't stop and realize is what outcome are they hoping to get? Let's say that me and my friend get into a heated debate and I walk away feeling very hurt, like she didn't hear me. And I go back to that same friend and I say to her, listen, I don't feel like you really heard me out on that. I have to be cognizant of what outcome I'm hoping to get by sharing my feelings. So maybe I wanna be more understood. Maybe I don't feel seen. Maybe I just want them to be patient and hear everything that I have to say and then respond. But for you to feel very powerful into going into communication with sharing your feelings, you want to make sure that you are cognizant of what outcome you're truly hoping to achieve. Now, before I share this last one, if you need encouragement with communicating your feelings, then I want you to stay to the very end where I give you my pep talk, my words of affirmation to uplift you and encourage you and to make sure that you know and feel that first and foremost, you are loved. And like I said, if you are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell. And I'll see you in the comments below. And the last thing is this, the reason why you don't want to, you never want to hold back your feelings is because your feelings matter to you. You can't keep putting your feelings on the back burner and wondering why people don't connect with you why you don't feel seen by people, why you continuously go to bed feeling alone, why you need to check out with life because you feel so lonely. Instead, I encourage you, make a shift and realize that deep down, what's going on inside, those feelings that you have, that they really do matter to you. As you become more conscious of, hey, my feelings matter to me, like being angry, being sad, being happy, being joyful, these things really matter to me. As you verbalize that to yourself, what you're doing is you're setting a precedence. You are setting boundaries within yourself that you will show up differently. Because when something really matters to us, then we respond to life out of that priority. We respond to life out of that value system. In the comment section below, tell me which one of these really resonated with you and which one of these are you gonna start moving forward with today? Listen, my love, I don't know your story and I don't know what you have experienced that has shut down your feelings, that has shut down your voice in terms of articulating those feelings. But know this, know that you do matter. 
know that your feelings matter. You may have never heard that. That may sound so weird right now, but the truth is, is that your feelings do matter. And as much as you have a big heart and you wanna be there for your woman, that you wanna be that strong man that she can share her feelings with, at the end of the day, us women are nurturers, we're caregivers. And so we want that same opportunity. We want to be there for you as well. And the only way that we can have access to your feelings is if you share them with us. So that's why I encourage you to never hold back your feelings. Know that on your journey with women, that first and foremost, that you are loved. And when you know that you are loved, then you, my dear, have already won. Sending you so much love from my heart. Erica Angel, I will see you next time.